and get gets younger with Dom and uh, uh, Carl being out, unfortunately. So it would have been good to have those guys out there just to, to kind of see where we're at. But, uh, you know, we're counting on, obviously, Steve Big X. Steve did some good things last year, his best year on campus, and we're counting on him to keep, uh, keep improving and uh, kind of leading that group. Uh, a guy like Joe Gaglione, another senior, I think is capable of doing some good things. You know, this is his time to really step it up and get going. And then after that, we are a very young group right now. And some of the guys that you mentioned, uh, redshirt freshman guys like Riley, guys like Darian Cooper that we saw last year, Dean Stipendiatis, did a nice job on the scout team. So now it's really a chance for them to learn what we're doing in our scheme. I guess it was 2005. You know, we had a really veteran group in 04. And uh, yeah, we lined up, uh, started out spring ball with Matt Kroll as a starter, defensive tackle, redshirt freshman at that point. And then uh, yeah, Mitch King was second team will linebacker and then the third team middle linebacker going into spring ball. And I think we moved him somewhere about halfway through spring. So that, that's kind of one of the neat things about spring ball. You just never know where stories are going to come from. And it is, and like we always do, we'll try to get our best five guys uh, out there. And uh, obviously James and uh, Matt Tobin have the most experience. You know, Matt's got some position flexibility. He's, he's worked a lot of tackle throughout the last couple of years of practice. Uh, we'll probably keep Brandon Sheriff outside. That's kind of our focus going in, just get him outside and let him play one position. Uh, he played a little bit, I think, Indiana's probably the game he played most, most, uh, most of the time out there last year. So we'll give him a lot of work out there. Andrew Donnell had a really good uh, month of December. Uh, down in Arizona, really pleased with that. And then Brett jumped in there. Vince Lowe did a good job against Oklahoma. So those would be the three three top guys right now. I think. What, was well. there a moment or was there a, a time when you thought needed to do? Need, was there something that told you needed to do some changes? Oh, I don't know if there's a defining moment at all. But uh, yeah, the bottom line is, you know, we're, we're four and four, which I think you're well aware of. I mean, we're four and four the last two years, and. Um, you know, if that's the best you can do, then there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, we, we feel, I know, you know, we've been here 13 years. There's not a year we haven't felt like we left something out there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the nature of coaching, I think. So, you know, the bottom line is, you know, we're, we're trying to, uh, you know, we want to we move. We want to move forward. And, uh, you know, four and four is the best we can be. That's fine. But, uh, you know, we're shooting for something higher than that, certainly. Always have been. And uh, yeah, I think it just, again, when you're, when you're the downside of continuity or, Stability, I think, is sometimes you know you just kind of uh, stand that same path. So it was time to, to look at a lot of things, and that's kind of what we're trying to do right now. And, you know, it's fun; it's been invigorating. And uh, I said we were going to do it regardless of what happened personnel-wise with our, our staff. I think it's just time to really go back and look at things. James Vandenberg is a self-described film freak. He likes to watch a lot of films. So is he watch? Is he lost now? He's not not watching film. What's he got to oh, watch? he's watching film. Yeah. What's he, he just, got to watch? He just has to. Well, I mean, as you might imagine, uh, we've got a lot of cut-ups from where Greg Greg has coached, and uh, a lot of our installation tape will be, you know, based on that, because uh, you know, I really, I've always felt, uh, you know, even before it became uh, more in vogue, but uh, the best, best players, football players, learn best from film and then doing things, you know, and uh, so to see the picture, and see it actually being acted out. That's the best way to do it. So we've got some good pictures, I think, of what we're trying to do. We're we're going on depth charts, but um, what's Blythe done to put himself in competition? Just uh, he, he already has put himself in. I mean, he really uh, uh, did some nice things last fall, and then he really had a good month of December as well. And uh, uh, typically with younger guys, they kind of up and down during the fall. It's not un unusual. And Austin went through that a little bit. I thought he kind of tailed off in November uh, in practice, but he, he really did a nice job uh, during the bowl prep. and. Uh, you know, he's a strong physical guy. Uh, he came in, he was a pretty mature guy. You can carry on the guy with James Ferentz, who was wherever he was, 250 when he showed up. You know, Austin was 285 last year. And, uh, you know, so he's got a big head start on a lot of the guys that we've played with. And, uh, he works hard at it, so he'll he'll be in the mix. You know, we've, I think we've got probably six, seven, eight, maybe nine guys right now in competition, maybe 10 for the offensive line positions. Where's Rudock in terms of his maturation? He, you know, he did a good job uh, back last year. and. Again, towards the end of the year, we got to watch him more in December and did some good things. But, you know, he's got a lot to learn. Had there been no changes, uh, I guess the good news, you know, uh, Vandenberg's got a lot less, or excuse me, Rudock's got a lot less to forget than Vandenberg does, you know, when we try to try to move forward. Uh, so that, that's one advantage that Jake has. But, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be in the thick of things, I think. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be tough for anybody to beat James out. If they can do it, great. Uh, but that'll probably be tough, and then we'll, we'll you know, we've got uh, three other guys that are going to get reps this this spring with uh, Jake, Cody, and, and John. So we'll see how that all how that goes. The idea is to redshirt 
so cool. I don't think in a perfect possible. world, but if he's our second best quarterback, then you know he'll be our second best quarterback. We're, we're playing to win. Are you, is it realistic to think that maybe you come out of spring with a number one clear number one running back, or is that going to take some sort? No, I think that could happen. Uh, I don't know if it will, but I think it could happen. So if you look at guys like uh, Jordan, you look at guys like Damon Bullock. Certainly, they've they should be a lot better players than they were last August, and and uh, you know they've got a lot more football experience. Damon, I think we kind of made it tough on him because we moved him around so much last year. is a guy that uh, I think is totally capable of, of being a good player uh, for us, but he, he's just got to he's got to step it up and go. And he's capable certainly too. So we're gonna let those three guys compete, and uh, you know just see how that, that materializes. So these three kind of set the bar, and then the f- true freshmen come in and, and try to get to that. Well, yeah, and if you know if they set the bar high. It's gonna be tougher for the freshmen, but uh, you know we're, we're we've got an open mind to all those guys, and that that is a position where younger players can play. So, was it a tough choice to put to keep James at middle linebacker? I know that's where he's played, but last year he seemed to find a niche at uh, weak side. Yeah. I, I imagine he's kind of the guy who wants to stay in the middle. I, I think he likes it there, uh, but you know we have we hopefully have some position flexibility there too. You know we're counting on Hitch to to keep coming on. Uh, I think we have some good competition there. You know Shane's a guy that has played for us. Not last year, but two years ago, uh, as a true freshman. So I think he certainly has potential. Uh, Quentin Alston's a guy we were impressed with last year. So you know, if Quentin would emerge this spring, uh, you know, one thing about James, I think he could play all three of the positions, and, and uh, Chris Kirksey can play two of them. So you know, with those those two guys, we have some real uh, position flexibility, and gives us a chance, I think, to get our best guys out there. Uh, Winky and Brace did the punter, inner punter. He's working on it. Uh, he had Johnny Mullins, and that, that's one position I left out that might be as important as any right now uh, as a punting position. You know, uh, Eric did a great job, certainly, and uh, you know, John's been working hard on that. And, and uh, obviously, Johnny Mullins as well. You know, we've got a freshman coming in next year who will compete as well. So uh, that, that's one that we probably won't know until August, you know, who's going to be our punter.